Yo yo what's good YouTube this is Engo and today we're gonna be showing you video number 5 which basically we're gonna do a backup of our project on github so we need to download three things you're just gonna need to download git and then go to downloads and then download it so yeah don't download G the GUI client just download this one I'm sorry download for Windows and after downloading this go into Visual Studio Code and download it and install it for Windows as well already have this installed and when you are done with this just go into extensions and go into github search for github you're gonna find github pull requests and issues and then uh, in over here you're gonna find the tab that says github pull requests and github issues just sign in here it's gonna not be signed in I'm already signed in you're just gonna be taken into a browser page and then signing in so after that you're just gonna create a new repository name it whatever you want description make it public make it private if you want you could add a git ignore template I'm going to explain what's a git ignore in a second and add a license also read the licenses uh, what are public and what are not public so I'm not going to add one right now so this is how it's supposed to look so basically you're just going to copy and paste everything that is going to be here is very simple so yeah make sure just you're signed in and everything let me just get in it and then git add all and then git add read me because I don't have a read me and then git commit the first commit git branch and main I already added some comments so that's why it's not showing anything and git remote add origin I already added it like I see it like I said before and then git push your origin main so just for example if we made uh, any changes to our project and we wanna add them we're just gonna change something over here just gonna save it save the file then git add all git commit m starter template project with github and then git push so as you can see here there's one file changed then one insertion and now it's been pushed so if we refresh that there's gonna be two commits uh, in the main there's actually four but yeah because I already did that before but anyways like I said here's the latest commit which I changed the test github so anyways thank you so much for watching this video guys this was very simple and here is the link for the starter template for the project if you wanna start uh, development from here thank you so much and have a nice video have a nice day and check out video number six which I'm gonna be starting the header which I'm gonna be building a dynamic navbar for your WordPress theme with PHP and WordPress 6.0 thank you so much comment like and subscribe